Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to write single line and multi line comments in Robo Framework. So uh, let's go to the file. We have created a simple file to demo what are comments in uh, Robo Framework. So basically, uh, comment is a code uh, which you'll write. It's not a code actually; it's a text uh, which you'll write to uh, describe your code. So uh, either you can put the comments or the documentation for the test case so that in future uh, if you need to modify that test case or maintain this test case uh, you would understand what this test case is doing and uh, how to fix it uh, if you don't put proper comments this funny comment might be true for you so make sure you put uh, proper comments and uh, as you see it's very simple to add comments in uh, robo framework you just need to add hash in front of the line you want to comment so for example this is the line you want to comment uh, you just uh, put hash in front of this line and this line will be ignored by uh, robo framework while executing the test case and uh, if you want to uh, add multiple lines in comments so you just need to select those lines in Visual Studio Code or this uh, key keyword shortcut which I am going to tell you uh, works in other IDs as well uh, you need to press control plus forward slash control plus forward slash okay and if you want to uncomment those lines select those lines again and press control plus forward slash uh, the same uh, button and uh, it will uncomment those lines now uh, even this shortcut won't work sometimes for example you want to uh, uh, comment this entire test case okay uh, so uh, using this shortcut might be difficult at times so in that case you'll have to use this comments table so whatever uh, you mention in comments table will be ignored by robo framework while executing the test case now since you have uh, started this comment table to end this table you'll have to start the test case table again so that this test case 3 will be considered as a test case and not a comment okay so now if we run this program it will execute test case 1 then this will ignore test case 2 and then it will jump to test case 3 this is how you implement multi-line comment uh, in robo framework you can see here test case 2 is completely ignored all right friends uh, i hope this helps and uh, uh, I'll put this uh, code in Git repository as well in case you need it you can uh, refer the description of this video please subscribe to this channel and like this video put your thoughts in comment section thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye